Hi guys, it's Sinam Gafour here with the Google Nexus 5 running KitKat 4.4. I've had some questions regarding this device on whether or not you can expand the storage using a USB on the go cable. If you haven't seen these cables before, along the one end you've got a USB 2.0 port, along the other side you've got a micro USB connector and what we're going to be doing is plugging this into the Nexus 5 like so and using a 32GB SanDisk Cruiser. This device is formatted with the FAT32 file system and remember when you have any drives formatted in FAT32 file system the maximum any one file size can be is 4GB but notice the device hasn't indicated whatsoever that it's had anything plugged into it and even if I go in towards a storage in the settings section here there's no indication that it's recognized the device because it hasn't. And what you need to do is download an application called Nexus Media Importer. And if we take a look at that, because there are two very similar applications here. The second one down, which is free, says Nexus Photo Viewer, and it does exactly that. You can view photos and imagery from the USB drive connected on your handset for free effectively the second one there the nexus media importer does cost i think it's just over a pound here in the uk and it allows you to do everything else music videos photos all in one so i've already purchased it i'm just going to install it here it doesn't take very long at all it's less than a meg in size there we go that's opened up so i'm just going to hit open and it says enable right i'm going to hit okay to that it says allow the app nexus media importer to access a usb device so it has recognized the device being connected we'll hit open and it says connecting towards a device and what we'll do is we'll go into folders and there we go we can see the entire contents of this usb drive that's connected so let's take a look at uh, image there we go yep as you would expect no lag or streaming issue whatsoever it's displaying it from the USB drive let's have a listen to some music there we go plays music absolutely fine as if it's on the handset itself so we'll go back and what we'll do is play a movie trailer for gravity let's play that and rotate the handset a little bit I might skip through it. There we go that looks absolutely stunning and there's no media lag whatsoever the audio was in sync with the video absolutely fine while it's been streamed from this USB drive as if it was on the handset itself you can also copy media files to your USB drive using that same application Nexus media importer as I say I think it costs just over a pound or so from the Play Store and that's without even rooting your handset you can also use bigger USB drives I think the maximum size that I've tested with is two terabytes but remember those disk drives need to be powered so if you're using anything like this obviously the Nexus can cope with powering it but if you're using an external hard disk drive remember the power has to be sourced elsewhere because this little handset will not be able to power it and there we go folks that's how you extend the storage of your Nexus 5 handset you're running KitKat 4.4 using a USB on the go cable and a USB pen drive as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a like what you saw and if you haven't already done so subscribe it's also down there as well it doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time